On my way to church one Sunday afternoon, a young man saw me passing and started shouting, Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. He was so passionate about his uh, call, Raymond, Raymond. He got to a point, he started running towards my direction and kept shouting, Raymond, Raymond. Now, I was not bothered at all because I had the understanding that my name was and is still Prince Will. Then he got close to me, tapped me at the back and said, Raymond, it is you I'm talking to. I looked towards him and said, I'm sorry. Maybe you were thinking, I am Raymond. I'm Prince Will. He said, wow, what a look alike. Now, what's my point today? For Nigeria to rise again, we all must refuse to rate our country according to the negative rating of others. Who made us believe that we are all corrupt people? How come it is widely believed that Nigeria is known for corruption? Listen, no matter what they say out there, if we refuse to agree, hear me, they, they will not continue to address us in such ways. Now, this makes me remember my experience. I was on a flight going to Johannesburg in 2014. And the man sitting that sat, that sat beside me was a white man, a white-colored skinned man. And uh, he started talking about my country, Nigeria. All he was saying about Nigeria was just about corrupt politicians, how they've embezzled a lot of money. And at the end, he gave a cap, a tag for my country saying, every Nigerian is corrupt. Do you know what I did? I stood up and told him that is not true. That you do not judge a book by its cover. Now, you don't because you have had encounter with some corrupt people conclude that the entire Nigerians are corrupt. I thought I had it all until I got down at the airport. Now, as other people were getting down, now they were on transit to other countries. They were bringing out their passport. As I brought out my green passport, placed it on the counter. You know what? I was sashed more than the others. Now, when I took time to investigate what happened, they said, because green passports points that I'm a Nigerian. And as long as I'm a Nigerian, they believe that Nigerians are corrupt. Hear me. Yes. Re remember this quote and never forget. I refuse to rate my country according to the negative rating of others. Say it again and believe it. I will not rate my country according to the negative rating of others. Make up your mind. If everybody is saying Nigeria is corrupt, don't join them to see or believe it. And how can we change this? Let's talk together, Nigerians. Because I have this vision that Nigeria will arise again. And for Nigeria to arise again, let's all make up our minds to be the positive example that will make them change the negative belief they have about us. Now, let's take it as a personal vision that every time you have an opportunity to relate with anyone, you will, by your attitude, erase the negative belief they have about Nigerians. Now, do you know that at the end of our discussion, we, we, we discussed together for about two hours. At the end of our discussion, this white man looked at me and said, you must be a very different Nigerian. I said, yes, I'm a Nigerian. I do not regret to be one. I'm glad I'm a Nigerian. Uh, but I made up my mind that I will live a positive life and make positive impact so that meeting me alone will make them to believe that not all Nigerians are corrupt. Don't forget what I said today. For Nigeria to arise again, we must refuse to rate our country according to the negative rating of others. I read one of our holy books 
And in that holy book, it is clearly stated that there's what we call the power of life and death upon the thumb. The more you say, Nigeria is corrupt. Nigeria is corrupt. The more you infect and inject Nigeria with the spirit of corruption. But the more you stand up to say, no, I don't agree that Nigeria is corrupt. Nigeria is blessed. Nigeria is blessed. Now, the more you keep saying Nigeria is blessed, you know what you are doing? The more you'll be injecting into the system the blessed part that everyone should see about Nigeria. I love the Americans. Every single day they wake up, the first thing most of them were taught to say is this, God bless America. And I want every Nigerian today, as I summarize, to make it a point of duty that every single day you wake up, say, God bless Nigeria. But don't forget, for Nigeria to arise again, you and I must refuse to rate our country according to the negative rating of others. Let's take our pledge again as we summarize today. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength and uphold our honor and unity. So help me, God. Nigeria will rise again. Thank you.